Hey, Chad here at PAX South 2016, and I have the honor to talk to Robert Koo. How would you describe your job? We are all a very small cog in the giant machine that is PAX, and uh, I'll do whatever we need to do to, uh, to get the show running, but I guess my title is I'm the president of Penny Arcade. How has it changed throughout all the years? Honestly, the complexity of it is enormous, especially in comparison to the show that we first put on 12 years ago. It's just way, way bigger and way, way more people. But uh, all in all, like if it comes to like the ethos of it, it really is just sort of like a celebration of gaming. Like this is where people come together and, and, and really take a moment and say, you know what, this lifestyle of mine, this pastime of mine, it, it's an awesome thing. How has it been expanding PAX into multiple locations over the years? I mean, you, you've created Oasis, the, that oasis of gaming that you're talking about sure. now for local communities all over, which seems like a great accomplishment. It really is just sort of compartmentalizing the different shows, realizing uh, the unique differences that each city brings, and each, the unique differences that each culture brings, uh, and then going from there. What is your favorite part of the expo? It's sitting like in a lobby like this and just feeling the energy in the room. It's one of those things where you can describe to people what PAX is like and like say, oh, you know, these are the components to it, but you really can't describe the feeling to it. And like when you're in this environment where you've got, you know, tens and thousands of people that really have just been looking forward to this one event for the whole year and they come together and it's, it's really a magical experience.